Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. Today, very quick one, we're looking at the new upgrade to Simbrief by Navigraph. Uh, the free web-based platform that we've been using for some time now for flight planning. It's effectively had a complete redesign of the, uh, the entire interface with a much more modern look and feel with loads of improvements under the hood as well and we're going to talk about a few of those over the next few minutes. So, as always, hit like and subscribe and if you've got any tips and tricks in relation to this new update then do share it down in the comments below. As always, you want to head to the Simbrief website, simbrief.com and uh, log in. And the moment you go to the dispatch system, you'll notice uh, already it looks entirely different. So. If you're looking at it for the very first time, you'll be greeted with this new interface here, giving you a couple of ideas about what to expect in the new look of Simbrief, and it looks spectacular as well. Complete redesign. And you're greeted with your uh, your latest flight plan, along with a load of other statistics as well. So you can see your uh, you know, the days of the month you've flown, the air act that you're using. We're currently on the, uh, the current one at time of recording, 2301 and uh, tells you about uh, information in relation to your Navigraph subscription on the right as well for those of you who subscribe to Navigraph. The software downloads tab on the dashboard gives you the option of downloading the Simbrief downloader. Again, a really good tool for quick installation of flight plans into things like the PMDG 737. But effectively what we are going to be looking at really are things like the weather notams, saved airframes and a new flight. So let's look at, to begin with, the new flight options. By clicking this we're looking at creating a brand new flight plan as we would have done in the old interface uh, but with a new fresh look. So we're going to plan an Osprey Airways flight from London Heathrow to Berlin Brandenburg. The departure time tab, much neater. You can effectively select any date that you want. And then as before, you would select the aircraft types that you're using. So for this, we would look at a 737-900 flight. And we can look at the various airframes that we've got installed um, for it as well. All of this is pretty much the same as before, so if you want to create your own custom cost index, you can add that in if you wish. You can change the call sign here, you can add a fuel factor of plus 1% or so, uh, and you can go ahead and uh, add in your registrations of the aircraft and things like that too. You can select your operational flight plan layout here, so if you've got a particular preference, uh, I know some people like the EasyJet layout or the British Airways layout, or just the default Lido layout then you can select that there and again you can choose between pounds kilos and choose various different options for flight mapping too so have a little look through explore the new uh, the new sort of features and the new layout and as before you can have a little look at your routing too this one here is euro control approved as you can see in the tab right hand side there and there's a vatsim approved one as well there which is useful these other ones if they have the sim brief tab that's usually ones that users have generated in the past themselves. Uh, although I'd probably suggest maybe, well, quite a few of these might be invalid. Uh, so do be wary using the Simbrief ones so you can use the Eurocontrol validator there just to double check any of them. If you select anything other than, say, for example, Eurocontrol's one or the VATSIM approved routing. When you're happy, generate the route and we'll see what it gives us. There is a new dark theme to this as well, so once this loads up we'll flick the tab and I'll show you guys what that looks like too, but the flight plan itself, really really easy to, to sort of navigate through now, I love the new mapping function here, you can, I mean it's really nice and clear, and the night mode toggle is on the right hand side, this is great. So as before, it's all the same information, but laid out in much, much more logical way, in a neater way. To pre-file onto the VATSIM network, for example, you just scroll down or you can click this uh, quick tab at the top and it will take you to the options for pre-filing on various networks and you would then just follow the steps as you did before. Similarly, for the flight plan downloads, show details, and you can find the aircraft that you want to manually install it into. 
on the Weather and Notams tab then, we can populate from the last flight and it will give us the three different airport codes relevant to the flight plan and with that you can hit search and you get lots of weather data. If you want to look at significant weather, you can select your area, so for example we'll be flying around Europe, it shows you in highlighted selections which ones you're, you're, you're sort of choosing as well which is nice. We'll use that little one and then we can click view chart and it will give you the significant weather en route which is very very useful as well. Same with the upper winds, you can select your part of the world and view those too. Uh, routes between airports is an interesting one because you can then type in a particular route, select jet or prop and hit search and it will give you then a selection of suggested routes as we saw on that new flight tab with a little bit more context behind it too. So you can see the very top one which was selected blue on the previous tab uh, for new flight is Euro Control validated, it's IFPS compliant with AIRAC 2301 which is good. So you can then click the button on the right hand side to copy the route, you can analyse it if you wish and you can head into the new flight tab and, and generate your route that way as well. So we can analyse the route, clicking it like so, and then we can populate the maps to have a look at winds, we can look at rain, And we can select airways and you can populate the map as you wish as well. Now I know that previous routing that we looked at, Heathrow to Berlin, is a European flight, hence why we get that Eurocontrol option. But if, for example, we planned a, f a flight between Los Angeles and Denver in the States, we get some slightly different options. But this time we get the real world tag of the routing selection area. So if you click on the exclamation mark, you find out more information about what each tag means. So this one in particular means that it's been sourced directly from a database of real world flight plans. And then further down the list again, you get those greyed out sim brief ones that have been previously used by other users. If we compare that against uh, the Eurocontrol and VATSIM options, the top one that's been tagged Eurocontrol in blue says the route has been reported to be IFPS compliant for Iraq 2301, that's good. And the VATSIM one below means that they've been assigned this route by an air traffic controller on the VATSIM network again. So you could probably more than likely guarantee that that is going to be a legitimate routing as well. And in fact, if you look at the difference between the two, they're not too far apart. So in general, it makes flight sim route planning a lot easier. So there's lots and lots of options available on the new sim brief by Navigraph. And there's even more to explore as well. So do have a dig around. Um, within it. So the load sheet section for example gives you better access to various aircraft weights and you can also set minimum weather criteria when searching for alternates as well. But that's it. Hope you guys have found it useful. Don't forget to hit like before you head off and join me for a live stream in the very near future. Thanks for watching. Take care.